Local Chinese Embassy celebrates the 63rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Dominica remembers Rosie Douglas 12 years after his passing. And Dominica's 34th independent season officially begins. I'm Jana Hector. And I'm Tanya Green. Welcome to National Focus. Stay with us as we bring you the details of these and other stories when National Focus returns. Chinese charged affair Kuei Weiwei hosted a reception in celebration of the 63rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China at the embassy in Mondania last Friday. Close to 100 guests, including President of Dominica, His Excellency Eliud Williams, Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, members of cabinet, members of the diplomatic corps, government officials, Chinese business representatives, as well as members of the local Chinese community attended the reception. In her remarks, the official pointed out that the year 2012 has seen extraordinary improvements in China's development process. China is facing tremendous challenges in its economic and social development. But we are fully confident that we have conditions and ability to overcome the dif difficulties on our way ahead, maintaining steady, rapid economic growth and achieve development at a higher level with better quality for a long time to come. The Chinese charged affairs spoke highly of the existing mutual cooperation between both countries. Although China and Dominica are far from each other in distance, we are glad to see that since the establishment of the diplomatic relations of our two countries seven, eight years ago, there has been sound and constant development in our relations. China and Dominica are both developing countries. We have common views and interests on many international issues. The Chinese side appreciated the com commitment of the um, appreciated commitment of the Dominican government to the One China policy. The top Chinese officials spoke to some of the recent projects undertaken by the Chinese government in Dominica. She gave the assurance that China will continue to strengthen its friendship with Dominica. In related news, Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt believes the principles of unity, purpose and strength exhibited by the People's Republic of China should be emulated by Dominica. The Prime Minister made the observation during the reception to celebrate the 63rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China last Friday. Honorable Skerritt referred to the adversity faced by China which has resulted in the country becoming stronger and more unified. We recognize that this is a major day of celebration, a major achievement for the people of China. Having gone through a very turbulent history of invasion and other occupation of the great uh, country, China. But they have shown that in adversity, you can become a stronger and more united people. And we believe China is a country which we should emulate in respect to unity of purpose and unity um, of strength because it has brought itself to being today just about 63 years of its own founding to be a member of the UN Security Council with a veto vote and this is a major recognition of the influence which China has brought on the world stage. Prime Minister Skerritt used last Friday's reception to reaffirm Dominica's commitment to the One China policy.
We know how difficult it is uh, to build a nation. And we are very grateful to the Chinese people, the Chinese government, for its continued assistance to Dominica. And Madam, let me say to you that we have never regretted in this country our decision to recognize the One China policy and rest assured of our continued support and recognition of the One China policy. In other news, Dominica, as well as the other seven countries of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union, the ECCU, will during the month of October observe Financial Information Month. A number of activities to commemorate the month were launched on Monday under the theme, Challenge Yourself, Innovate, Compete, Succeed. Financial Information Month is a regional financial education campaign observed in the ECCU throughout October since 2002 and forms part of an ECCU financial education program coordinated by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, the ECCB. ECCB resident representative Edmund Robinson says the month of activities is expected to be a collaborative effort among financial and academic institutions, the media, private and public sector institutions, and community-based groups. This graphic statement amplifies the message that innovation, best practices, and unrelenting drive to succeed must be nurtured to enable individuals and businesses to realize their goals. This in turn will generate the employment opportunities required to forge ahead in this new economic climate and create a prosperous future. So we hope even in the media that persons themselves can obviously challenge themselves to be innovative, okay, to compete and succeed. Obviously, if there's no competition, people won't actually succeed. Um, innovation obviously means being creative, coming up with new concepts in business. Um, we also, in doing that, have been working with the small business unit, which is, um, and the other, I think, financial institutions which are also trying to do small business. Because I think this week, Scotiabank is launching um, a small business seminar, and it's also their small business week. A program of activities will be implemented throughout the ECCU member states to reinforce the theme. Some of the activities planned for the month include business and financial tips aired on radio stations, media programs including articles on financial and business issues published weekly in the local newspapers, and interviews with representatives of the financial institutions on the month of activities. In more news, Acting Minister for National Security, Honorable Alvin Bernard, has announced that by training professionals in emergency medical and disaster response, the island is investing in risk reduction. Honorable Bernard was speaking at the graduation ceremony of 20 fire officers who successfully completed an emergency medical response training course. The acting minister said that proper planning decreases the need for reactive measures. The expression firefighting is frequently used to refer to remedial activities after the fact, responding to emerging difficulties. This behavior suggests deficiencies in planning, preparation, and foresight. Therefore, the role of organizations such as yours is traditionally seen in that context. But let me advise you, nothing is further from the truth. A country's capacity to provide emergency and rescue coverage is critical, not only to the peace of mind and the well-being of its citizens, but is also an integral part of the enabling environment for investment, economic growth, employment, and social transformation. Honorable Bernard also stated that planning and adequate training raises the island's service to international standards and produces economic benefits. Whenever we speak of the capacity for emergency and rescue, we implicitly refer to risk reduction. Therefore, in addition to the saving of life and property, we have increased public confidence and viability of sectors, of all sectors of our economy. The fire officers who graduated at that ceremony completed the two-week course having learned efficient ways to manage emergency medical situations. With varied displays of Dominica's cultural talents by groups and individuals both young and old, the island's Independence 2012 season was officially opened last Saturday. The announcement was made by Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt 
following his remarks on the importance of keeping Dominica's culture alive. He recognized the efforts of persons who continue to lend their talents to independent celebrations every year. And for all the wonderful people who volunteer every year to come in to dance, they're not, they're not coming to dance because of some first prize, because the first prize and the second prize is basically next to nothing. They're doing so because of a love and commitment to the preservation and promotion of our cultural art form. And I want to thank all of you who continue to year in, year out, to make a contribution to Dominica's development. And I see faces that I saw back in 1984 when I first started dancing cultural Hill and Toe and others. They're still part of the cultural groups from back at, from um, Pidit Savan, from Capuchin, from Pebush, I still see many of them um, being part of the cultural art form. And I, that's, that's why I would like to see next year the exposition of the secondary schools and primary schools in Dominica with the cultural art form. Various dances, various songs, traditional songs and traditional dances. I wish to formally declare the 2012 independent celebration under the theme Partnering for Further Progress and Development officially open. May God bless you and may God bless Dominica. I thank you very much. Minister for Culture, Honorable Justina Charles, addressed the opening ceremony with reflections of Dominica's independent celebrations last year. Honorable Charles remarked that Dominica's 33rd anniversary of independence was a great success. Over the next few weeks, we will be engaged in a range of cultural and other activities which will give prominence to our nationhood, pride for country, our culture and heritage, all of which have brought relevance to our independence celebration, which is so unique and enjoyable. By all accounts, we had an excellent program last year. We witnessed high standards of performances by cultural groups and individual artists throughout the various competitions. On behalf of the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports, I wish to thank all those individuals and cultural groups for the efforts and contribution to the great success of last year's celebration and for ensuring that this product is cherished and preserved. Minister Charles says she is sure that Independence 2012 will be a grander affair. I have every confidence that this year will surpass previous years. Indeed, this year we have new initiatives such as the Cardan Slipso Competition, organized by the National Cooperative Credit Union, and the Sugar Creole Basketball Tournament, which lends support to this year's theme partnering for further progress and development. We are witnessing the continued involvement of the private sector and community associations in sponsoring and organizing cultural and sporting events that engages many of our youth while at the same time foster higher standards of artistic and sporting excellence. Chief Cultural Officer Raymond Lawrence began the ceremony with welcome remarks, which focused on what lies ahead for this independent season. Our first ever quadrille festival takes place right here at the Old Mill on Wednesday, October 10th from 4 in the afternoon. Our National Art and Craft Exhibition takes place here at the Old Mill, opening on the morning of Tuesday, October the 16th. Our Dominica History Week this year will focus on Dominica's heritage sites. And we are encouraging the schools in particular to do research on our beautiful heritage sites. Dr. Lennox Honey Church will deliver a special lecture on the sites. The exciting Madame Wabduyet show takes place on October 19th at the Arawak. And for the Miss Wabduyet show, we have seven lovely contestants. And that show takes place right here at the Old Mill on Thursday, October 25th. Thursday, October 4, we'll see the first in a series of lectures on EO Leblanc by Dr. Alwyn Bully at the Fortune Hotel as part of the 2012 Independence Celebrations. 
and Minister for Community Development, Honorable Gloria Schillenfer, the call for patriotism and cooperation among citizens during this time of celebrating Dominica. As we enter the season of independence, let us do so with a spirit of patriotism, pride, and a renewed commitment to the development and continued prosperity of this our beautiful nation. I am always encouraged at, the independ at independence time as I see Dominicans willingly and readily playing their part towards the perpetuation of our culture. I therefore appeal to us all to take it a, first, a step further beyond willingness to work hard towards the promotion and preservation of culture and increase our commitment to partner towards the overall further progress and development of this country. Every Friday this month has been designated by culture officials as Creole Friday and persons are encouraged to wear something Creole on those days. Twelve years after his death, the impact of work done by the late Prime Minister Roosevelt Douglas continues to be felt on the Dominican landscape. That's the view of brother of the late Dominican leader Eisenhower Douglas. Rosie Douglas, as he was affectionately known, died on the 1st of October 2000, just eight months after taking up office as Prime Minister of Dominica. Eisenhower Douglas, in an interview with GIS News on Monday, told us that with the passage of time, the acceptance of the loss of his brother has become easier. He says the work of Rosie Douglas continues to be a permanent fixture in the programs and policies of the current administration. I believe very strongly that the, that the Lord um, took him, you know, for a reason, and um, he was able to, um, his work was able to have been continued by, an, by, by his successors, and I think that's one of my greatest satisfaction, that the effort that he made um, in politics and in the development of this country um, has in fact, you know, continued. So that is tremendous satisfaction for me as his brother um, in helping me to come to terms with his passing. Eisenhower is delighted that the legacy of the late Rosie Douglas continues to resonate in the actions of the current Prime Minister, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt. It was in 1999 um, at, at Vickers that Rosie Douglas launched Roosevelt Skerritt, you know, a young member of parliament coming in for the first time. I mean, I wasn't physically present in Vickers, but I was told by a number of persons who were present he is, when Roosevelt Skerritt was launched in Vickers in 1999, um, just prior to the 2000 general elections. And um, in fact, back then, from what, as I understand it, um, former Prime Minister Pierre Charles, who was the deputy leader of the Labour Party at the time, was present, and Rosie Douglas said there and then that this young man had leadership potential. And um, it, was, it, was, it was like a prophecy because it turned out to be very, very correct in terms of his ability to, to pick up that ball when it was passed to him. So I think his legacy lives on the number of specifics I can point to, to to actually demonstrate that that is in fact the case. Joining us on the set now is Senior Information Officer at the Government Information Service, Mervyn Paul, to talk to us a bit more about the late Rosie Douglas. Uh, Mervyn, it's 12 years since the passing of the late Rosie Douglas, an outstanding leader, an outstanding politician in Dominica. And of course, he will be remembered for a very long time. Yes, yeah, certainly, Tanya. And um, of course, Dominicans will very vividly remember the day uh, when the announcement came that um, the Honorable Prime Minister had passed. And certainly, even with so many years having gone by, um, I think he continues to remain a very vivid picture in the minds of Dominicans. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting that in the interview we did earlier with um, his brother Eisenhower, he um, made reference to the fact that the legacy of the late Rosie Douglas continues to, to, to be a permanent fixture in the, in the everyday politics of mm -hmm. Dominica today. Mm -hmm. It is no, 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 no longer a secret that, um, in fact, um, it was the Honorable deceased Prime Minister who brought uh, the current Prime Minister into politics and, and saw in him um, what he thought would very much be his ability to leave his legacy, that is his legacy, um, Rosie Douglas, and clearly in the policies, not just articulated, but implemented by the current Prime Minister, Roosevelt, uh, 
scare it. We're seeing um, a lot of what uh, the deceased prime minister always wanted um, to happen. If you were to cite a few examples, we're talking about his love for um, the elderly, uh, the downtrodden, the less fortunate, and the, and the, young, the, the young children. And, and we, as for those of us who remember Rosie, he was always very passionate about that. In fact, he pioneered the whole um, um, idea of getting Dominicans to go out and study um, in countries that quite often people felt were not very friendly to us. But it was about him, you know, um, breaking into new frontiers and providing opportunities and creating opportunities for everybody. And, and this is um, what actually continues today um, in the policy of this government and the prime minister. And I should also add that Tanya, you know, um, Honorable um, Rosie Douglas um, didn't really have a lot of time in, 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 in office to prove what, you know, he, he really wanted to do all along. And I think what he'll be best remembered for was his impact on the social and political landscape of Dominica. And we know Rosie Douglas was a no-nonsense person, stood up to defend what he always represented. We, we know of his um, exploits in, in, while going to school in Canada and, and, and having to deal with a number of um, oppressive situations. His role in assisting in, in, in liberating you know, the people in, in, in African states and, and, and his very um, deep friendship for um, the people of Libya. So, so clearly, I mean, um, Rosie Douglas you know, will, will better be remembered for his life before getting into political office. But of course, we know in eight months he really didn't have time to do much. But the, the, the 12 years on, Tanya, I mean, it's, it's, it's still very vivid in, in, in all of our memories. The legacy of the late Rusey Douglas continues to live on in Dominica. That's the English segment of the news. We now join Macpherson St. Louis for the Creole highlights. Hello, good moon. We have been seeing novel Creole, no more say Macpherson St. Louis. When the government of Dominica do a security to one pillar, but also the sorti of acting Minister Security National, Honorable Senator Alvin Bernard. Si le ministre Bernard, la station de police a battu plusieurs occasions en pays là. Nous avons watché ces lois, nous avons mené d'autres personnes pour la police, pour la fire et pour la jol. Aussi, nous avons battu la police station 9. Actuellement, nous avons presque fini de nous la commission. Ça, c'est un grand peu. Je crois que pour nous, nous devons être 4,5 millions de dollars. Calibichi, la pluie, nous n'avons jamais été en bête de la pour nous bâtir. En notre nouvelle, le gouvernement Dominique en collaboration et puis l'European Union, qui continue de travailler et développer le secteur de l'OPE. En un mois passé, l'agrément signé pour continuer le pays à taper plus d'assistance audio. Chef de l'Office European Union en Dominique, Colin Roberts, fait parole qui concerne ce projet-là, le projet, la, projet de la communauté VECAS. Selon Mme Roberts, le projet est là qui expecte pour finir l'année prochaine. Roberts aussi mentionné le projet de l'Ouest Coast de pays là, qui est European Union qui a un si propos. Madame Roberts fait par Wall qui European Union bien satisfait, manière gouvernement Dominique a dépensé l'argent là à ce projet là. Plaisir si l'argent cela qui tombé en bas allocation IDF. Alors nouvelle officier relations publiques pour association combine taxi Curtis Labasser ni bon avis pour Mamayo. Labasser fait par Wall cela qu'on Dominique a préparé pour ces touristes qui ont ouvert moi cela. Avia nous ni pour les taxi opérateur et taxi driver qui ne pas avec nous avons mis des questions à place pour vous. Ces gens là qui ne pas taxi opérateur, ils ne sont pas ailleurs, mais ils ont essayé de mener les touristes industriels à bas. Nous les, les autres gens là qui ont battu à la main pour mettre des questions à place pour sauvegarder le pays, puis nous passons à continuer le business à ce Ça, c'est quelque chose. Si les si, 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 si touristes drop, nous tous drop. Ce n'est pas si les touristes drop, les taxi drivers drop. Le pays a les drop. Comme ça, nous avons mis quelque chose en place pour 
pour pour pour pour members nous mais overall secteur nous ni pour mettre question à place pour tout le monde quand ça nous travaille à sous ça et c'est vrai nous nous pas ni dire tourist qui vient à l'autre saison qui va aller ouvert mais nous 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 quoi still we a brighter future qui vient join nous et puis finalement, il y a une organisation touriste qui a fait des paroles qui ont coopération bien nécessaire et puis agence voyage. À la même manière, il fait des gens qui ont fait plus de voies pour en pays. Riley fait des paroles pendant la conférence des affaires voyage pour faire des gens qui ont fait des destinations qui ont fait des places la semaine passée. La discussion qui a concerné ça pour des places ici. Et puis Riley était bien satisfait de manière cette discussion ça aller. Et de Dominique mette ici en place pour adresser ses affaires voyage et puis il bien satisfait pour ça. Riley fait parole que les affaires qui concernent les taxes et les affaires avions, qui quand la concerné un problème, si vous êtes adressé. Les affaires voyage pour Kawaïb, car vous avez un lot d'attention pour l'agence voyage. Mais mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un créole pour présent. Non moins, c'est McPherson St. Louis. Au revoir. Up next is the tip of the day. Hello, I'm Felix Anderson, afternoon, and I'm here to tell you why it's better to buy your bad bread looking like this and not like Jabasak, Apiginapuk, Akatina Baga. Come on, if it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Let me show you what I mean. Hello, ma'am. Can you tell me what's in that bag? So you're not seeing it's a brown bread? It looks like one, but you sure it's a brown bread? Yes. Eh? Your face looking like the brown bread. Brown and proud. If it's bagged, it's got to be tagged. Bakers, consumers, and retailers, please ensure that all your bagged bakery products clearly display brand name, product name, batch number, net contents, country of origin, list of ingredients, expiry date, identification code, and other important information about the product. Check the Dominica Bureau of Standards for details. So, am I right or am I right? Today, we'll talk to you about what you can do to better face your fears. A secret of happy people is that they realize that fear is often based on unhelpful interpretation. As humans, we like to look for patterns. The problem is just that we often find negative and not so helpful patterns in our lives based on just one or two experiences or by misjudging situations. Address your fear for what it is, usually a baseless interpretation. And that's National Focus. As usual, we invite your suggestions and your comments. Please feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. Or you can visit our GIS Dominica pages on both YouTube and Facebook. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm your presenter, Tanya Green. And I'm Jana Hector. Thanks for watching.